What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. Today we're gonna to be looking at a popular Windows 8 application, Skype. So welcome to Skype for Windows 8. Now you can see it's a little bit blurred out, but that's because there's people in my Skype list who may not necessarily, or I don't have their permission to either use their names or their picture. So there might be places in this application that are blurred out, and that's just for the safety of the people who are in my Skype list who may not necessarily want to show up on one of these videos. But we're going to go over the uh, general aesthetics of Skype and give you a full on review and walkthrough of the application. So first off, if you want to get this application, just head off to the App Store uh, within Windows 8 and search for Skype. It's right there. It's going to probably be one of the top apps as well, probably featured. Check it out. It's actually a very nice experience. It's one of the nicest uh, modern themed apps that I uh, have used. Now, once you've signed in uh, with your Skype account, it may ask you if you want to link your contacts from your Outlook account to your Skype account. You can say yes or no. Basically, it's for syncing uh, your contacts through and through. Now, if you want to make just a simple call, it's very simple to do. Once you open up Skype, there's a little telephone button, and right there you can dial a number. Uh, you can buy Skype credits. You can even see your recent calls from Skype and call people back quickly uh, from right there, which is very nice. Um, it's, it's very cleanly laid out. Like I said, um, you have uh, different columns here for different things. Uh, the left hand side is a Skype ad, which of course will show up because it's Skype and it's free. Um, then you have your recent, so you can see not only recent calls, but recent conversations. Any recent interactions with Skype, you'll be able to see it right there in that column. Uh, the next column, which is a very nice column, is favorites. You can actually come up here and press this plus button, and it will show you a full-on list of all of your contacts. Now, of course, it's blurred out because the people don't probably want me using their names, but you can go ahead and you can select people who you want in your favorites. And from there, you can go down to the bottom right here and click add, and it'll add your people uh, that you selected to your favorites. So if you call them a lot, um, if you like to talk to them a lot, you can quickly go into there, uh, select their names, add them to the favorites, and have a quick and easy access. Uh, if not, this right-hand side tab here is all of your people that are in your Skype list, and it shows you just a preview or your recent ones that you've recently called. Um, and then you can also go and click the uh, arrow, the right-hand side arrow, and it'll bring up all of your contacts and there's even a button up here that says only show the available contacts and it'll show you the contacts who are online and available so that is a nice feature there um, one thing that it took me a little bit to figure this out but if you right click you bring up a uh, I guess a menu system that you can say where you can see uh, not only your recent interactions, but even you can add contacts and even save numbers into Skype. It's kind of like a little drop down uh, bar area to do that. So that's very nice. Also from here, you can also modify your account as well. You can see my account here on the right hand side. You have your beautiful picture with your name and email address. You can set your statuses here as well as your moods. So you can see all these different moods and I can just do the uh, happy face. And of course, you can set yourself as invisible or available. I'm currently invisible right now because I'm recording uh, this review. And down here, you can also have account. When you click that, it'll open up Internet Explorer and actually throw you uh, over into your Skype accounts so you can modify uh, information over there. Now, of course, going back into Skype here, uh, there's a lot of things that you like and we'll hate about it. Um, one of the things that I do like about it is making calls. It's, it, it's a very visually uh, enticing experience. So if I have the echo sound test here, um, it's a sound test from Skype that lets you check uh, the audio. And if I mute my audio here, 
and I'll do the call, you can kind of see the design of Senate here. You can see that um, it's the Apple logo and when it's connecting to you, it'll connect and you have this nice layout. If they had a video, you'd be able to see the video. Uh, and then you have simple controls down here for either muting your video, muting your mic, uh, looking at menu items like uh, doing, bringing up your instant messaging uh, tab while you're in the call or even the dial pad while you're in the call if you need to uh, manipulate that dial pad, which is nice. Uh, and very simple. And of course, you also have uh, the hang up tool as well. And I think that about does it for uh, the Skype overview. I mean, it's, it's a very simple application, which is very nice. Um, I believe it's better than even the desktop applications that you do see for Mac and Windows. Um, it's definitely uh, a nice looking Skype. So go check it out. It's absolutely free in the Windows 8 App Store, Marketplace, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you have any questions for me, email me, Creighton at LogicLounge.com. Of course, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, all under the username of Logic Lounge. And until our next video, we'll see you guys later.